My top five luxury regrets. Obviously, when you purchase something, you like it, you want it, but I mean, it's life, right? And I definitely made a mistake with these five. So jumping right in, the first item is going to be my Gucci Marmot. I got it in the purple color. It's a beautiful bag and I still think it's a beautiful bag, but I sold it because I don't wear that color. I bought it for one picture because of one dress. I had an idea and I was like, oh, the purple in that bag matches the purple of this dress. It's perfect. Never touched it again. So that's why I say that is a luxury regret, right? You wore it one time, you spent all this money, but I am glad that I did sell it when it was still popular. So I didn't lose much money. I lost only like a hundred dollars. And most importantly, it went to someone who was going to get their cost per wear and who was going to use it, right? So, bye Marmont, <laughs> wherever you are. Hope you're in a good home. My next luxury regret, my next luxury purchase regret, whatever you wanna call it. I actually have it here. Let me grab it right off the shelf. The Louboutin Kate pumps. Sexy, beautiful, all over. You've seen it, I've seen it, we've all seen it, right? That, the sad part is, it made it to this video as a regret, but I bought it not once, but twice. I have it in black and I have it in brown. Like what? But that's what happens when a shoe is just, looks so aesthetically pleasing. It, it's so beautiful to the eye, but they hurt. I have tried all kinds of things. I've tried inserts. I've gone to the cobbler and got in it widened. It hurts. Those pumps hurt. They are a work of art. They are not meant for you to walk in. I'm convinced they are meant for you to put them on while seated, take a picture, do a couple poses and take them off. So incredibly uncomfortable. I will never sell the two I have because I really do love the way they look but at this point it's an art collection as far as my so kates go the two that i have like it's an art they'll never go on my feet they hurt okay they mm, as you could tell i'm very passionate about the fact that they are not comfortable so if you're thinking about buying a pair of so kates have it in your mind this is not a shoe that's going to be comfortable or even bearable for more than 15 minutes as long as you're fine with that, of course I encourage you to get them. I love mine, but yeah, it's definitely a purchase regret. If I could get the money back that I spent, I know I'd sell them. They are much nicer, well, I won't say nicer, just as nice is a better way to put it, yeah. Just as nice heels that you can buy that are luxury that you can walk in. <laughs> so, mm -mm. definitely was, definitely was a purchase regret. Number three is going to be my Aquazura Amazon heels. These were on such a crazy sale. I think, honestly, I, I guess I found them when they were no longer in style. They had, to, I know they were under $200 each. It was incredibly inexpensive. So I was like, well, I like the black ones. I like the blush ones too. And I ended up purchasing both of them. No one talks about how annoying they are to get on. You have to unlace the heel, un, like you don't have to unlace, you have to like widen it because it's a lace up shoe from your toe all the way up your ankle. It's all tie up. They're so annoying to put on. They're not as bad to take off, but putting on, so I never reached for them because I knew I'd have to take my time, it would take me a while. So for me, that was a purchase regret. I know I bought two because of how inexpensive they were because I didn't really need two but it would still be a regret even if I only got one. Cause like I just said, so un so time consuming to put these shoes on. I just never reached for them after that. Like I was like, you know what? They're just gonna stay there like the so Kates and look nice. But I did finally sell them on the real real. So I hope those are also in a love, both of them are in a loving home. I did keep the pump version. I'll insert a picture. These are a bit better. They. I wanted to look at them. They're just as annoying, but I don't know. I wasn't ready to give, I wasn't ready to give them up. So I kept them. 
<laughs> I kept them, so. And my best friend has the same ones, so if we ever want to take the time to match, I was like, you know, let me, let me keep these just in case. <laughs> Not the best of reasons, but you know, it works. The next luxury regret is going, I actually have it here, like within reach to where I can like, you know, turn and show you guys. Jay calls this the fishbowl. I have some mints in it because I was influenced, you guys. I was influenced by Instagram to purchase the Scott, I forgot what it's called, Scott um, trunk, what is, what is it called? I think I wrote it. Oh, the LV Scott bag, okay, it is called that, but I, I think I'm wrong, I don't think it's called that. But anyway, I was influenced by Instagram to purchase this. I saw everybody with their cute little twillies on it, using it as a bag. What a waste. First of all, opening it up when you, like, for the day-to-day -day is so annoying. Everyone can see right through your bag, so there's only so many things you're gonna be comfortably wanna display for the world. The size that I got is only going to fit so much. My phone's not going in here. My phone is not going in there, so. Yeah, that th this is definitely a regret. A regret of $1,000. So much of a regret that I'm actually going to keep it because I know I'm not going to get my money back. I spent it. It's here. It's staying. Wore it like once with the Twilly that I saw everybody else using. And I was so completely annoyed. I was so annoyed. And it makes sense. It's not meant to be a bag. We tried to do this. IG makes us think we can do this cool girl thing and make it into a bag. It's not meant to be a bag. And sure enough, it's meant to sit on a counter and it sits on my desk counter very nicely with no problems. But it's not functional, in my opinion, as a uh, purse. So that was a regret on my part. Lesson learned, y'all. Lesson, lesson learned. And the last one, I laugh about this one. I laugh about this one because what was I thinking? What, 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 like, what was I thinking? The Bottega Veneta bow towel sandals. As much as I talked about Bottega in my hated items or anti-haul, whatever you want to call it video, like, I went and bought those towel sandals because I thought they were cute. And I want it to be trendy because it, it, Bottega is very, in my opinion, although it's a good brand, it's very trendy right now. You know, everybody's, uh, whoa, Bottega. I have them right now on the real real for sale. Hopefully, hopefully somebody uh, purchases them. What was I thinking to have towels on my feet? They're literally the towel terry cloth material. I mean, if nobody purchases it from the real real, maybe I could just. Uh, use them to wipe my tears like wipe the tears of shame <laughs> From me purchasing this item that I can't use because when you put the heels on yes, they're fine They're comfortable, but it's terry cloth. It's a towel on your feet. So I'm worried about what I'm gonna step on I'm worried about the weather Such a dumb person. I spent a thousand dollars to wear towels on my feet like It doesn't get any like any sillier than that like what? What's going on up here? And that's what I'm saying, like, influencer is a perfect name for them because that's what they are. In my right mind, would I really ever buy towel shoes for a thousand dollars? No, no beautiful, I would not, I would not. I was influenced to buy them. So hopefully someone purchases them off the real real, takes me out of my misery, but you know, I bought them guys, I, I bought them. So that wraps up my five worst purchases, uh, five worst luxury items that I purchased that I regret purchasing. If you have any of these items, that's amazing. If it's working out for you, it didn't work out for me. So hopefully this video serves well. Please share the luxury regrets you have. I'd love to hear, maybe we could collaborate on what items, maybe we have items in common that we regret. I can give you one of my bow heels to wipe your tears too. We could we could wipe our tears together, y'all. We 